Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the Everything Presence Light. I did a review on it on this version a year about a year ago and I really liked it. It works really well. It's a presence sensor that uses a millimeter wave to detect if you're in a room. Works great if you have a motion sensor and this paired together to sense that you're in a room to keep your lights on or perform automations um, to your likings. So they have a new version that I, I wanted to pick up. Um, so this one here, um, it's 3D printed case, but now they have uh, ejected molded one and a little bit of improvements on it. So let's go ahead and do a quick video uh, just to unbox it, take a look at it. And the setup is supposed to be really easy too. So before you have to assemble everything, but now um, it comes out of the box pre-assembled. So this is the retail packaging. It's got a QR code. Uh, for online instructions, um, pre they're a pretty, you know, black plain box. When you open it, you got that QR code there or the URL that you could go to for uh, instructions and demo. And when you open it up, out of the box, everything's pre-assembled. You got your nice quality uh, cable here. Um, I love that they uh, provide a really good quality cable. Uh, and it's, it's pretty long too, so you could run it um, at... Uh, um, different areas in your room if your plug's a little bit far. Uh, just note that you do need your own power adapter, uh, USB-A on one end and USB-C on the other, 90 degree. And this is the new version. So as you can see, it's already a big difference. Injection molded is, is pretty awesome. Um, when you 3D print stuff, you got kind of these rough edges and ridges. It works, but injection molding is a lot more cleaner. Uh, compared between the two as you can see so yeah so pretty big improvement i'm glad that they're able to to step it up and um you know get the get this ejected injection molded so it's pretty cool but i think everything uh i think there are slight improvements for uh but pretty much everything's the same uh see if you can still open this up I don't want to, I don't want to break it, but let's see, it's got some tabs here on the side, so we kind of had to He-Man it out a little bit, but it does open up like the other one. It's just that since it's injection molded, it's the tolerance is really tight which you want it to be like that. You don't, uh, this one's kind of flimsy sometimes when you move it around. So it's, it could get loose at times and you gotta tighten it. But the tolerance to this case is definitely a lot better. So kudos to them for that. But it's really nice, it's nice and tight and it uh, feels more high quality. And this is pretty much the internals of it. So it's got some nice redesign on it. And like I said, like the point where you connect the USB to the case here is really nice. Uh, compared to like here where it's kind of like a big hole and like I said like this older one the case kind of opens up a little bit but yeah the internals um yeah actually it looks the same uh, but yeah uh that's comparing the two so yeah so it's pretty uh pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in so this is the injection molded one so yeah it clips on pretty nice and this one here, I'll put back on so I don't mix it around. And this thing pops in like this. So yeah, very high quality case, pretty awesome. Um, they make it pretty easy to um, set up as well. So I think all you need to do is plug this into a power source. And if you have Bluetooth on your home assistant, like I do, it should just pick it up. So I'm gonna plug it into this power source here. Plug it into this guy here. All right. Okay, and then once plugged in, you'll see a little blinky light there, meaning it's got power. So that's pretty much it. So this is if you have Bluetooth on. If you don't, you probably have to do it a different way, but I have Bluetooth on my Home Assistant, so it should pick it up. So I'm gonna go to my screen here now. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. Oops, wrong one. Okay, so actually, no, it's actually this one. 
Oh, it's not displaying. I gotta fix something. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to my Home Assistant here. And if I go to settings and devices and settings, oh, there you go. Everything presents right here. It picked it up through Bluetooth. So it's really easy if you have Bluetooth on. You just hit the configure button, hit submit, and then it's setting it up. And then you got to put in your uh, um, Wi-Fi so it can connect to Wi-Fi. So I'll go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. After you put in your uh, Wi-Fi, it will try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Just give it a few minutes. Okay. Looks like it got connected. So you just gotta make sure you put in your uh, uh, right password here. So please visit here to finish setup. So I'm gonna visit this link and it's gonna go ahead and open my home assistant link. And it says, do you wanna set up ESP home? Hit okay. And then you wanna add this device, hit that. Do you want ESP everything home? Uh, yep, you wanna submit success. Uh, I'm not sure where I wanna put this yet. So I'm just gonna leave it blank. And then and that should be it. So if I refresh this page here, so that that thing is gone. So let's see where it's at. I think it's over here now. Yeah, it's right here. So I got two of them here, got my rep GDO, and then I got the everything presence light here. So if I click into it, then yeah, everything's working. So here's all the parameters. Um, and, um, and here's all the sensors. So yeah, it looks like it's working. It detected me and it's got all these awesome parameters. So yeah, so they definitely make it a lot easier uh, out of the box. Before it wasn't too bad too. Um, it was just a quick assembly on this old guy and then you just gotta do a few things. But yeah, if you have Bluetooth on your home assistants, really, really easy to install. As you can see, it took me less than like, with entering my Wi-Fi about a minute and a half. So yeah. So just a quick video I wanted to do. I'm gonna place these sensors around my house. I really love it. It's really great. I'll put the link to the product below in the description if you guys are interested. And um, if you guys don't have Bluetooth, um, if you go to the link here on here, um, they have actually detailed instructions of uh, how to set it up on here. So uh, you guys could go through that article there. I'll put the link of it below if you want to take a, a sneak peek before uh, ordering one for yourself. But yeah, it's pretty awesome, guys. Um, definitely recommend it. It's a great addition to your uh, house for um, if you want presence uh, detection. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the video, you guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and always... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out till next time.